Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video, and I'm in my account today, uh, mostly because I built a crazy, weird, difficult clan boss team. And I thought it was very cool and something you guys might want to see. Now, this was actually brought to me by a Discord member of mine, Ilbe. He uh, came up with this tune and said, hey, you interested in this? And uh, yeah, yeah, I am. I was. I built it. Um, and it's very cool. And I think what makes this so unique and so worth building for you guys is that it involves Archmage Helmet. Now, this is one of the Doom Tower champions, the first epic champion we're getting from the Doom Tower, and definitely the champion I was most excited to get out of all the Doom Tower champions that are being presented to us. The reason why is he has an awesome kit. He has on his A3, which is the big one, an increased speed buff, increased crit rate buff, and an increased damage buff, crit damage buff. I mean, just the cornucopia of a 2-1 ratio champion. I love it. Um, but he also has a turn meter boost on his A1 skill. So he's got some unique things going on here. Most speed buff leaders have a AOE turn meter boost, so it boosts the speed of all the champions. Archmage doesn't have that. That means that the speed requirements are going to be higher to get to a 2-1 ratio. But then he also has a turn meter boost on his A1, which means that his turn meter it is going to be probably a little bit less. It's going to be very hard to balance that. I can't bring in like a Sandlash like I would normally do to kind of tune that. If you've tried to tune with like a Lydia, for example, you know how much more difficult that is because she doesn't have that turn meter boost on her speed up ability. Well, same thing's going to apply to Archmage, except Archmage gets a turn meter boost on his A1 skill, which means he's randomly going faster, a lot like tuning Painkeeper. So you have these weird things kind of working together. It makes it very difficult to tune. But that said, we can do that. Now, I found a 2-1 speed ratio team tune with Archmage Helmet, which I'm going to show later on in the week. But this one, this one is very cool. Um, and it's very cool, but I have to say, I don't recommend it, guys. The speed requirements for Archmage are super high. The rest of the team's great, but Archmage's tough. Um, and I built it as an unkillable team. I'm going to bring in Tower and Warcaster to make it fully unkillable. And we also are going to bring in Seeker. And that's what's going to kind of make the speeds relatively normal for the rest of the team. But we're using Archmage and Seeker. So that means not only are we going to have crit rate and crit damage buffs the full time, but we're also going to have increased attack buffs the full time. With Tower and Warcaster, we're going to be fully unkillable. And then I'm going to use Fane for the damage in this comp. It's a kind of a weird team, and I'm not going to wait to show you the run. We're going to do that right away. I'm going to show you the champions afterwards so you kind of have an idea of what we're doing. And I'll talk a little bit about the tune and my kind of thoughts on it in general, using it how you'd like. Um, let's go ahead. Let's look at the run, and then afterwards we'll look at the champions, and you can kind of check them out. And then I'll, I'll kind of talk a little bit about the comp and how I see this being used or not.
56 million damage. Full unkillable team. Lasts a full 20 turns. Nothing too bad about that. Now, obviously, getting this thing set up is a pain in the butt. Um, I don't recommend this team. I think it's way too complicated. I had to do a lot of stuff to avoid the stun just to get ourselves in sync. So, um, as you saw, like even the setup, I had a lot of delays. I was trying to figure out what was going on and how to make it work best. Now, I do think there's some potential in not making this an unkillable team. And rather, having uh, your three... Uh, champions, Warcaster, Rosh, Card, and Fane, replaceable by uh, traditional clan boss champions. Um, there's some potential to that. I don't know how much, but definitely that's a way to go. However, with the speeds we're using, I think you're going to see this isn't going to be a comp many of you are going to want to do. Um, so let's take a look at the champions. I'll kind of you'll get an idea. So uh, the champions, obviously, we have Tower in here. Now I did just kind of throw this team together. I tried to optimize as best I could, but I didn't go crazy on trying to make everything, you know, exceptional here. But got 206 speed here with tower, um, you know, solid HP, good crit rate and damage. Uh, next on the list is Warcaster here, again, 226 speed this time. Um, crit rate's a little bit low, crit damage is up there. Um, like I said, not perfectly optimal. Uh, then we have Archmage Helmet. This is the star of the show, obviously. Uh, 307 speed. Very, very fast. I think 301 is the lowest speed that can work for this. So, obviously, not optimal. Doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, and the multipliers don't seem bad, but it's hard to build attack on him. It's really the hard part with this kind of speed. Um, but it got a great crit rate, great damage. Um, it's just the rest of it's not really what we want. Um, then we have Seeker here. My Seeker, I will admit, is not perfectly built. 243 speed uh, good crit rate and damage is fine the attacks all right nothing crazy to write home about and then very last is Fane, the one person that is stacked almost 6,000 attack 186 speed is the lowest <coughs> and uh, 227 crit damage with 270 accuracy solid build for what we need here now as far as how this comp works, what makes it so fantastic, it has to do with the buffs that we're getting from Archmage. Archmage is just a ridiculously good champion. The buffs that uh, Archmage puts on are just insane, right? I mean, you're talking about crit increased crit rate, increased crit damage, increased speed, all in this A3 skill. Because those are two turn cooldowns, because we're going at a 2-1 ratio, and because Archmage is actually going at a 3-1 ratio, we have these buffs on for the entire fight. That's what makes it so great. Uh, all the champions, minus Seeker who takes that extra turn, has these buffs on the entire time for every attack. So that means we can build the entire team with less crit rate. We're going to get crit damage boost on all of them. Um, and the speed, obviously, is what lets us go on that 2-1 ratio. Now, that's, that's kind of the magic with this, right? So with... Archmage, you have the increased crit rate, increased crit uh, damage. With Seeker, you have the increased attack buff. So you have all three of those on all of your champions for the entire fight. That's pretty insane. Um, let's go ahead and let me take you over to uh, the calculator. You can get an idea of what this looks like actually in here. Um, it's all over the place, right? So have everybody plugged in. Let's look at when we get to this 2-1 ratio, which is right here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Archmage goes first. Everybody's going. We have all these buffs. You can see they fall off here. That's why they're transparent, right? And then Archmage goes again, puts them on everybody so everybody has, and then Seeker puts off the increased attack buff. So everybody has all those buffs for the entire time. Warcaster uses the unkillable here, then Tower, then Warcaster, and that's gonna continue all the way through the fight. Rosh card, Warcaster, Rosh card. Pretty traditional 2-1 unkillable team right there. I mean, traditional, I guess, is, is an arguable point. But the hard part with this is we sink on turn 9. We actually sink on turn 8 here. The hard part is all this craziness getting there. You have to navigate the stun. We have to keep certain people unkillable. Some people have to take less damage. The stun has to go to our lead champion. Can't go on our tower. Can't go on our Warcaster. Can't go on our Archmage. Can't go on our Seeker because all of those either will keep us unkillable or affect turn meter. And if any of them take the stuns, the entire comp gets thrown out. So it's crucial that it goes on our leader. Now I have Anax in there. I was playing with Anax, but Anax has some healing, which is uh, 
less helpful. So as I put Fane in there, you can actually see the champion we have. But Anax has some healing on that A3, and that actually throws off the stun a little bit. You guys might have noticed that we have Immortal Gear on Seeker, on Archmage, and I have uh, Lifesteal Gear on both Warcaster and Tower. There's a reason why I did this, guys. I need to make sure they have full health so they don't take the stun. Crucial. And obviously, this is not affinity friendly at all. So, <sighs> cool team. Very cool comp. Is it realistic? No, I don't think so. I mean, obviously, it works. So, it's not like you can't make it work. But I don't think this is the kind of Archmage helmet build you want to do. But I thought it was cool. And I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, and, you know, it's not... I didn't come up with this composition. Um, not to say anything negative about that. I think it's a fantastic, you know, build that was created. Uh, it was actually created by uh, one, of, uh, one of one of my followers, I guess. Uh, Ilbe uh, kind of came up with this. And so, very cool comp. I will put it on the website. So, you guys can kind of play around with it. Maybe somebody can find out a better way to use Archmage with this team. The good thing is... This is not the only 2-1 build I've come up with with Archmage Helmet. So this is what we've discovered so far, but it won't be the last thing we discover. That's what we have, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I thought it was a pretty cool little video, um, pretty cool little comp, and something different that's out there and should hopefully open up some ideas for things that you guys can do. So uh, that's going to be it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Until next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.